In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Monday, the 28th October, and today we celebrate St. Simon and Jude, the Apostles. Our Gospel passage is taken from Luke chapter 6, verses 12 to 19. This passage presents Jesus taking time away from the crowds, even from his growing circle of close friends and followers to pray with God the Father. Everything Jesus said and did was and still is to teach us how to speak and live. Every day we face millions, or so it seems, of demands, distractions, worries, changing plans, and uncertainties. Perhaps if we had things in proper order, we could be freer to pray. But often we don't have the time. For prayer. Let us open our hearts to learn from the example of Christ, even if his mission was the redemption of the world, he made the time to pause and pray. On other occasions, Jesus went away to pray, and his disciples saw this. So, what was it to see Jesus at prayer? What must that deep inner communion with his Father have been like? What did Jesus say to his Father in prayer? Perhaps he prayed for those he would call by name and those his touch would heal. And while saints and mystics throughout the centuries have sought to enter into this very prayer of Jesus, we also can find further insight in Luke 11 verse number 1, where in answer to the disciples' question, Jesus taught them the prayer of our Father. Only after spending the night in prayer did Jesus call those disciples whom he wished to make his closest followers, the twelve apostles. What example did Jesus wish to give his apostles? And also us. While the answer is unfathomable because the heart of Jesus is unfathomable, we can at least glimpse it, the true fruitfulness of ministry in God's name comes from spending time with him in prayer. And we may need to ask this question, how often do we take time in prayer? How often do we do that? Let us pray. Lord, we fail, we fall so short of you, a dear ministry of power and prayer. And the world we live in is so very needy and hurting, burden us to seek you earnestly until that power you have that, that you have comes upon us, that we might minister freely for you. Take away our sin. Take away our scholarly unbelief and doubt. Take away our fears of what people would think of us and anoint us with the power afresh that we might serve you. And like your holy apostles, serve you to the ends of the earth until you come. Give us the strength to spend time with you in prayer. 
in your holy name we pray amen glory be to the father to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen my dear friend i remain your priest and servant father ck wishing you a productive monday